Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to be showing you to add a realistic looking moon into any landscape image. So um, here's a photo I took from Norway of the Northern Lights um, and here's it with a moon added to it. So uh, I'm going to remove that for now, for now and then let's start from the beginning. So um, I'm going to select the crescent moon over here. So you can get these images online, there's a lot of free stock sites, um, but obviously it's nicer to take the image yourself if you've got a camera that has a big enough telephoto to take a shot of the moon. Uh, it's very easy to, to layer in, so if you hit the V button just to make sure you're in the selection tool and then click and drag across to this and drop and then you can see the moon has been added with the black background. So to remove that black background we come down here to the layer options and we can come down and select screen. Now what screen does is removes any black from the image, so obviously if you've got anything with black in the background it just removes that um, and gives you a realistic looking um, image of the moon there. Obviously the moon looks way too big and this is uh, open to interpretation. If you want to make an image that looks quite um, sci-fi like, which it does right now, then it looks cool. But if you want something a bit more realistic, um, then we need to um, adjust the size of that. So I just hit Command and T for Transform or Control and T if you're on Windows or PC. Uh, and then just click and drag that to the size that you want it. You can also um, use Transform if you come outside the box like that just to just kind of swivel it around and have the angle you want so I quite like the moon facing in that way. If you want to be super accurate um, and you could mimic exactly how the moon would be in this scene so it might be that when you've taken the photo the moon's already set or you weren't able to capture it for some reason and then you could mimic the how it would really look so um, this is quite a wide angle shot so the moon would probably be pretty small. Um, that's coming about this big I think so hit the enter button I'm going to hit V and just kind of move it around to where I want it, let's say about there. Um, now you can change the brightness of the moon quite easily by if you come down here and select a new adjustment layer and go to levels. Um, with levels all you're going to do is right click on that and then create clipping mask and that means that anything that you, any adjustments you make on this layer will only apply to the image of the moon. So if you want to make the moon a bit brighter, you just grab the highlights up here and drag and you'll see that moon gets brighter. At some point though it starts to bleach out and lose detail, so I might bring it up a little bit. And then you can also use the uh, midtones as well and you can do this with a curves adjustment if you prefer. Um, so just bring up the brightness a little bit, I don't want it to bleach out, so um, hit Z and let's just zoom in and have a look, that looks good. Um, one thing we are going to have to fix is obviously the fact that there's stars behind the moon because you wouldn't see that, so I'll show you how to edit them out in a short while. Um, if you've got an image like this with a reflection then obviously we're going to have to copy the reflection, so um, let's start off doing that. So Command or Control and J will copy that layer, um, so we now have another version. So if you come down here and, and click on that, hit Command and T. Um, and if you click and drag you'll see that there's a second version of it there. What you actually want to do is flip this um, so if you hit shift and then click and drag it will allow you to just kind of reverse it like that. Hit V again and we'll just position it so it's in the right place where the reflection would be which is probably, probably down a bit. It's hard to tell because of perspective but I'd say around there would be around right. Um, that needs to be a bit darker because you wouldn't see it so brightly in the reflection. What I'm, I'm actually going to try a different technique. So rather than adding the layer, a quick way of doing it would be to adjust the opacity. So if you just drag that opacity down, you'll see that the moon um, gets much darker there. So let's drag it down to say about 50%. And um, also, let's zoom into this quickly. Hit Z. Um, you can probably see that um, the reflection isn't perfect quality. It's a little bit grainy. Um, it's a little bit blurred, so what we're going to do is add a motion blur. So if you come up to the top and hit um, filter, then blur, and then click on motion blur. It's hard to tell which way the water is kind of blurring. It looks like the flow of it might be a bit up and down. So if we just let's just click sort of roughly straight up, and then a distance of about uh, let's say 30. Not to be exactly accurate, and you can see it's just kind of left the blurred shape of the moon, which is how it would look realistically if you were reflecting in the water like that. Um, perfect. I, I mean, that's pretty good straight off. It's, it doesn't take long to do this, but um, let's just zoom into that and show you how to get rid of these stars. So make sure you're selecting the background layer and then click J. Um, there's a few different ways you can do this, but 
um, spot healing brush, healing brush. Keep it on that one. Um, use the brackets, the square brackets, you can um, make the brush smaller and larger. And then hit Option or Alt and select an area where there's no stars. Oops, oh, sorry, I've selected a different one to what I was going to do. Let's go with that one. It's way too big. Again, hit, hit that around there, and then you can just literally paint over those stars and it'll just remove them. Now what I like to do as well is obviously if the moon was actually there, it would be covering all of these stars. You wouldn't see any. The reason you can't see that side of the moon is that the sun is obviously shining on that side of the moon and the dark side of the moon just doesn't show up in the sky. But often you can see it a little bit, but sometimes you can't, it depends on the light. So I'd just go ahead and, and remove the stars from around where the moon would be if it was full. Just roughly, I mean, it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. It depends what the, your reason is for doing this. If you're just creating some artwork, then it not have to be perfect. But if this is like an important image for a client or something, you want to get it perfect, then it's important to spend more time on it. So just zoom out of that, and there we have it. Quite a, a simple and effective way of, of quickly adding a moon into an image. I hope you guys found that useful. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you could um, give me a like. Uh, subscribe for weekly videos. I'm going to be showing you all different ways of using Photoshop and talking about my landscape photography. And have a great week, guys. Thanks for watching.